This video is sponsored by UnlockThatPhone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier worldwide. Visit UnlockThatPhone.com for more information. Hey guys, I got a really cool exposed module I wanted to show you today, and it's awesome when it's working. And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. So here it is. Can you tell? <laughs> well, there it is right there. It's this cool little floating icon, as you can see. Um, I don't know why it just did that. Let's just get out of there. Anyways, so uh, it's actually called, if I can remember, uh, X Multi Window. Uh, obviously, downloadable through the Exposed Framework download section. Um, and it's really neat. This actually adds uh, multi window functionality to your ROM. Now, currently, I'm only testing it out on my Nexus 5, which is just running stock Android rooted with Exposed Framework. Um, I haven't tested it out on any like Samsung firmware uh, custom ROMs yet, so go ahead and experiment on your own. But what you do is go ahead and tap on it. And as you can see, I already have a couple of applications loaded in there. But if we click on this little overflow, by the way, you can also resize it if you want to. Uh, but if we click on this little overflow, it gives us, a couple, uh, gives us a couple of extra options here. So add applications, clear all apps, and quit multi-app chooser. Now, if we click on add applications, as you can see, it loads up a or my list of uh, all my applications and of course you can add uh, any additional ones that you want but for demonstration purposes today um, I chose Twitter and Google Plus because maybe some people like multitasking uh, social network accounts anyways so uh, all you do is just simply clack, uh, click on I was gonna say clack on you just click on the um, application of your choice it gives this little drop down here that says add to workspace or add, sorry add to up workspace or add to down workspace Obviously, English isn't their first language, which is totally fine. We can still understand what they mean. Um, so basically, do I want to add it to the top portion or the bottom portion of my display? So I'm going to choose add to the top portion. And as you can see, it adds it to the bottom portion. This is where we start getting into the bugs that I was um, kind of hinting at at the beginning of the video. So um, if I wanted to then, okay, fine. Well, let's go ahead and add Google Plus to the top then, fine. So it adds it to the top, but then it removes Twitter. So at the moment, the concept is there and I have gotten it to work previous to starting this video and I don't know why it's been doing it. I've actually had to re-record this um, about three or four times now trying to get it to work, but it hasn't and it stopped working for me. But I'm making this video to show you guys that the module is there, the functionality is there, um, and it will eventually work. So expect some updates for this particular module uh, in the upcoming days if you decide to download it today. So, but you know, basically, as you can see, I mean, the concept's the same though. I mean, if I wanted to add it to the bottom, but it, it, it removes it. So, anyways, there's the idea. You've got multi window functionality on your device now, um, should work on almost any ROM on should work on almost any device as well but as you can see like I mentioned before it's still got some issues to work out uh, anyways guys I just wanted to show it to you so you can go and play it maybe it'll work on your devices maybe it won't um, but just to kind of bring it to your attention so that you know that the functionality is available now uh, anyways guys that is it for this one thanks as always for watching and if you like this video click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos in the future please anyways thanks as always and we'll see you in the next one cheers guys